Hey, what's up? How's it going, everyone? We're playing Sly again. Let's just continue right where we left off. Now, I haven't played in a couple days, so I'm gonna probably be a little rusty here. Well, we'll try our best here to kind of catch up to where we were at. Alright, so it looks like we're on a... I don't know if this is another one of those levels where we do a, we do chasing. Whoop, almost fell off of that. I changed my setup a little bit too, so hopefully everything is as it was before. There's some bottles over here. Double, double jump, bang that out of the way. Whoop. Jump to that guy, real okay. I think that's gonna fall, right? Okay. Now question. Is there Oh no that sucks. I thought I definitely hit that guy right there. Okay, there we go. Let's jump back down. There's gonna be a little thing that we can just kinda jump over now. Oh that was close. I accidentally almost missed that one. We got those two bottles. I wonder if there's any bottles down there. There's a bottle up here. That I know. Well, I guess let's go ahead and get all these these ones up here first, and then we can go back down and check for any loose bottles. Okay, so we let that thing see us. Shut up. Shut up. Any bottles down here? Shut up. Oh. Okay. Let's see, there's got to be some bottles down over here. Anything? Okay, why was it sprinkling like that? Oh, I probably get that later. Okay. Well, yeah, from what I can see, there's no bottles. That is. Oh, yo, Sly, you good? <laughs> Let's say, like, um, we're gonna have to fix our camera angle there, bud. Alright, so that was weird. It didn't seem like there was any bottles down there. I mean, if I come to the end of the thing and I'm missing bottles, it's like my number one suspect. Ooh. Oh, I understand that. If I can duck under it. I was gonna say, like, what in the world is... It? over that one. Alright, you can stop now. Make sure to break every single one of these. If we just missed one. Oh, we missed two. There we go. Boing, boing. Okay, let's make sure... Let's go. Woo. Okay. Make sure there's nothing over here. I did not mean to do that. Okay. So far, so good. We've only died to one of those guys. And I think we're kind of on track to... Don't do that. Kind of on track to hit all the bottles here for, like, one of the first times ever. Although, I think this was one of the easier maps to hold to get all the clues. We need one more. One more clue. And there it is. Okay. Oh, almost fell. Alright, what's the code, Bentley? I could have broken this code in my sleep. Alright. The combination is five, six, five. Oh, 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 so close. I already had the five, six already there. Alright. Let's see what we get. Yeah, so it's a pretty easy one to get all the all the metal or all the bottles. Uh -huh. It's Sir Andrew Cooper's thief replica technique. He used to make fake stand-ups of himself to confuse guards. This might be useful. The wrong thing. Use the triangle button to put together a fake Sly Cooper. Okay, this might actually be useful. Like the roll and stuff like that wasn't particularly useful, but this. Okay, we'll, we'll see how we can utilize that, because that looks 
very useful actually. I don't even know why I'm doing that. I can just kind of just jump for it. Alright, another key. Skirt. Alright, and again, it's been a couple days since I last played, so I kind of forgot what we've done already. So we did this one. Which one haven't we done? Maybe, was that the last one in this area? I guess I could very easily just double check. So let's see, what can we do with this? Will they just attack it? Okay, they didn't do much with it then. Alright, let's see. I think we gotta do one more, but let's just double check, I guess, while we're here. Since... Oh, that was all of them. Okay. Alright, so apparently we did the other two last time. Good to know. So that opens the door over here. Oh! <laughs> okay, we gotta... Let's, uh... I gotta do the dive. Look at that ugly mug. I am! And I find it infinitely fascinating. Huh? My x-ray detection devices reveal that a secret elevator to Mugshot's penthouse is contained within that giant head. So how do we get in? Behind this locked wall, there's a lever that summons the elevator. But oh. you need all seven keys to open yep. it up. Yep. I'm on it. Okay. Well, funny enough, we did that. So, kind of cash. Let's keep moving. What? My boys have been yapping about some big mysterious dude running around cracking skulls and, <laughs> and and this is it? You're the monkey wrench in my operation? Some scrawny rat with a stick. Hey, wait a second. I seen that stick before. Maybe when my father knocked your block off with it. Your father? Wow! You're a Cooper? You know, that thing is Rakamagookas had a lot of nice pictures, but way too many big boys. So you don't mind just handing it over? Why? <laughs> what, are you kidding? You break into my place, steal my stuff, trash the joint, I feel transgressed and violated. Let's rock! I... Do it. I... The way his legs kind of just dangle is kind of disturbing, but... Oh, apparently I was a little too close. Alright. We lost our charm, which is kind of unfortunate there. But, give it another whirl, huh? Let me try to go in the other direction. Right here. Nope. Getting this one. Alright, third level. Here we go. I have not made it to the third level yet, so this is gonna be a little new. Oh, okay. Oh. So wait, how am I supposed to know when he shoots? Okay, noted. Let's try this again. Maybe I can keep my little shoe. Horse shoe this time around. Maybe save it up until the last one. Cause with the last one, am I supposed to just kinda like wait till he shoots and then go whenever like but I feel like that is gonna make the fight super, super long, you know? Okay. 
two. All right, we st we're making it to the third with, with our shoehorn. Shoehorn, horseshoe still intact. Let's try to maybe not screw this one up. Can I just like wait? Bro, he's too quick! Horseshoe, but we made it. Bonk. This is impossible. A little pipsqueak like you beating a big strong bruiser like me? It ain't right. You want all of that stupid picture book? You're gonna have to go down to Haiti and cross paths with Miss Ruby. And then believe you me, you don't want to be you. I don't. Mugshot section of the Phoebus Raccoonus contain an entry from my gunslinging ancestor, Tennessee Kid Cooper. His specialty was the rail walk and rail slide. Moves perfected through a lifetime of theft in the Old West. Getting out of town proved to be a little more challenging than getting in. Having just missed us, Inspector Fox went for the next best thing and drag that canine steroid case off to jail. That was the end of Mugshot's gambling empire, and Mesa City's citizens soon returned home. While me and the boys, well, we enjoyed the rest of our stay in America, and then returned to Paris, ready for our next mission. Right. Oh. Oh. We're heading to the swamps. I figured out a way to get us to oh, okay, so we got, okay, so seven out of seven keys, five out of five. We just didn't do the time challenges. All right, we're going to what is this? Panama? The third member of the fiendish five was the infamous voodoo priestess Ms. Ruby. Born into a family of mystics, other children found her scary. Teaching herself to summon the undead provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world for fearing her as a child. Chief mystic for the Fiendish Five, her powers allowed them to break both the laws of man and nature at the same time. Yet despite the whirlwind success of her youth, she managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Haitian jungle, okay. I don't know where the Haitian jungle is. I, my geography ain't the best. I got a little globe up there, but... Vicious Voodoo. Yeah, this is definitely, like, my least favorite level of the whole game. Just because it's slightly spook, and I am not the greatest at spook. But we'll survive. Don't do that. Okay, I know how to... Come on, guys. You don't believe in ghosts, do you? Sure I do. My scanners have picked up verifiable paranormal activity. But that's not a problem. This swamp is oozing with disgusting mold and bacteria. Suck it up, Bentley. We got work to do. Is it? Right, you a turtle? Man. Don't turtles don't live in this type of place? The new move you learned from Mugshot section of the Thievius Raccoonus. You mean the raccoon rail walk? The roots and vines around here are perfect for that. All you gotta do is jump press and hit the circle zero, button. Yeah. Especially where exactly. you see the bark has been worn away. And where it's super slick from Mickey Slime and Moss, you'll rail slide like a skater grinding pipe. I'm liking it. Let's do it. Right, let's make sure to grab all the little pipes here. One bottle. Okay, get that bottle. Okay. So I'm gonna see we gotta go this way. I'm gonna make a quick pit stop. Boing boing. Woo! Spooked me. I like straight up did not expect that actually. Like that was a genuine like a little surprise. Oh 
Don't do that. Don't do that. Did I miss any? What are you doing, big dog? He didn't do the slidey thing. Slippy slide, slippy slide. Okay. Okay, so we did come around to the other side. I'm like, how am I supposed to get all of these? Oh, that was also a thing. Okay, we're moving our way up. Oh, we got two of these. Um, what we could do. Oh. <laughs> okay, that mine's not gonna do anything. All right. Go back to the dive. Alright. Fair enough, I guess. Am I really gonna die to that thing? Oh, that's such a that's so unfortunate. We done did it. Let's grab that horseshoe. Make sure to grab all of the bottles. I did not miss you up here, bud. Okay. But did I... Oh, I guess... Am I supposed to jump over here? Make sure we didn't miss anything. I don't think I missed anything. Okay. With that... Oh, it's not the end of the level yet. Okay. There's also a guy up there. Oh, I see what's going on here. Yeah, we just gotta just kind of sneak... Sneak past them. And you're done. Alright, how many how many more we got? Four more. That's Miss Ruby's lair. To get in, you'll need that key on top of a tiki pedestal in the guard compound. There's a bad mojo force field protecting it. So you'll have to destroy all five of the purple candles Ooh. surrounding it. No problem. Don't get cocky or you'll end up with your head shrunk to the size of a pea. You've got to get past those photo guards, and I'm warning you, they're made, and they work like a team. So do we, buddy. Alright. So, technically, oh, see, let me just go ahead and get these bottles first. Bonk. Bonk. We need two more? Ah, there's the two. Okay, let's head over to... How's it get... You guys need to remind me in the comments that I don't need to fight these guys. I just, like, assume I need to fight them, but I don't know why I assume that. I can't just run around. Alright. That's what if I'm doing. I did my math right, and I always do my math right, then the combination has got to be 588. Eight. 588. Eight. Cool. What do we got? Electrified. Kelly McCooper's notes on how to harness the electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. Mm. Now your raccoon roll move will really pack a punch. <gasps> Plus, okay. it should give you a nice tingling sensation. Okay, so now we can actually hurt people with the roll. See, now that's slightly more useful than just the roll itself. Because now if we roll... I just boop them. You feel me? Unless I just dip my toes into the water. Okay, I need to destroy these candles. Woo! Chill, brethren. Chill. Why you gotta come this way, bro? Why don't you go the other way? Do they hear that? Okay. I just think you get this one over here, right? You've done it! The Mojo Force Field is down, and you can steal the key! Here we go. Bro, really? 
<laughs> okay, I'm like, I'm pretty close. Come on, man. In the pocket. Okay. So now, I'm up here. Oh, that key. Bonk. All right, let's head into the worst level created. Woo! This place is a little too creepy for me. I'm a little baby. My paranormal scanner is maxing out on that structure. A reading like that could only be coming off Ms. Ruby herself. That's I fact. think you're right, Sly. If you want to crack at Ms. Ruby, you're going to have to find a way inside that skull temple. Okay. Probably this way, right? So, slide all the way down. Okay. Whoa. Okay, so I need three keys. I seem to have this gate locked up pretty tight. Must be something pretty valuable in here. A couple more treasure keys should give us the answer. Okay. Let's go into here. Okay, we. I think we can do this one. I was like, what are we at? 30 minutes ish? The Layer of the Beast. Oh, this level's a fun one, ain't it? What's with this industrial strike voodoo gate? Ms. Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in. Spooky. So we'll grab these over here. Alright, where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? What am I actually supposed to be doing here? Oh, so I'm like, what in the world do they, do they expect me? Oh, I just attack these, can I? Okay. I think I'm going to end the episode off here, guys. Thanks for watching.